Hawaii at the moment, the Kilauea volcano erupted, throwing rivers of lava that, to say the least, are surprising. At the moment, there are no injuries or deaths, although there are several people affected and several communities evacuated from areas reached by the disaster. Many people wonder how it is that, in 2018, we are still taken by surprise by this type of phenomena and we cannot do anything to predict and or contain them. Well, to explain that, we'll have to ask ourselves, how do volcanoes work? This is going to be fast. Okay, the more towards the center of the Earth we go, the more pressure there is. That is, the lower we are, the more things make way on us. At a certain point, the pressure is of such magnitude that the rock enters a state between the solid and the liquid known as a plasma state. Like chocolate. Well, the Earth is made up of tectonic plates that are like large blocks of Earth that are in constant motion. When they collide, they are compressed until they are settled. In this way, earthquakes and mountains are generated. Paths are also generated for the magma to travel. Ah, yes, when the lava is underground, it is called magma. And as the magma is in this state because of the great amount of pressure that imprisons it, it wants to leave. It wants a way out. And as if it were not enough with the only pressure that formed it, the magma also generates gases due to the high temperatures it is at and adds its own pressure. Not to mention when it meets water and converts it to the gaseous state. A large amount of magma is accumulated under the Earth's crust and when it encounters a piece of weak crust, it traverses it with all its force. In this way, eruptions occur. And not only the lava emerges, but also the toxic gases that it accumulated, the dust and debris of the destruction coming from the thin crust that broke when leaving, the steam of the water that perhaps was found in the road and large quantities of the same lava. This process is repeated and repeated several times over the years, making the lava cool and transform the environment to get the cone shape we know as volcanoes. In short, it is unpredictable because, if you analyzed what I just said, you will realize that there are millions of variables when it comes to predicting a volcanic eruption. And for now, it is better to be alert to the signs and when the phenomenon occurs, get away from its path. Now I want to know, do you have any anecdotes with a volcano or a relative in Hawaii that is living this as we speak? I would like you to comment it down in the comment box and remember, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates every day. Here are some videos I recommend you to watch to catch up with the channel and remember to share this video if you liked what you saw and you want to see more. Have a nice day, see you tomorrow and remember, you are here.